Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Todoist with Outlook. First thing uh, we want to do, uh, you have to create uh, yourself an account at todoist.com and uh, proceed in your workspace to the top right corner of your screen. As you can see my initials or maybe there should be your avatar and uh, click on integrations. As you can see, there's already some integrations uh, like a calendar and uh, they'll let you know that they're going to make the integrations through Zapier. So discover integrations and now we have to look for Outlook. As you can see, we hit the Outlook and we hit how to connect. And that's basically uh, the way how you do it. Uh, like this, you will learn something about Outlook and the integrations. That's the one part. The second way how we can make this integration is go to automate.io. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And uh, once we are here, we want to go and click on integrations and click on the le bottom left uh, side of this uh, pop-up window on see all categories. Now we can pick from 200 and more apps, but we are uh, interested only in Todoist right now. So we hit Todoist. As you can see, Todoist already integrated. Now we have to pick the counterpart, which is Microsoft Outlook. We hit the Outlook. And as you can see, Automate.io already made some popular integrations for us. But uh, if you won't be able to find the one that you are looking for, you can just keep scrolling down and create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side, underneath the triggers, you should start with Todoist. Like this. And uh, don't, uh, don't go with uh, Microsoft Outlook. So let's go with the first one, for example. Underneath the actions, though, on the right side, you want to go with uh, Microsoft Outlook. So let's give the first option and uh, now when you hit the try it now you will get redirected to the login screen and you just log into Todoist and you are a few clicks away from finishing this uh, integration. Another app that we can use is Zapier uh, as I mentioned before. Uh, we also need to create an account here and once we do that we want to go to the top left corner and click on make a zap in this black window. As you can see, you can name your Zap uh, for future purposes, but you don't have to. Uh, it works basically the same way like Automate. Underneath the trigger, you want to start with Todoist, like this. Uh, you pick the trigger event. Let's stick with the first one. Now we have to log in uh, to the account that we created. Project. Projects are actually those, like it's welcome or try boards. But if you are uh, if you are familiar with Todoist, there's a couple of options for you, obviously. And uh, here we can test the trigger that we created. Uh, the second part is actions. So same as at Automate. Uh, we want to go to, with Microsoft Outlook. Let's stick with the first option underneath the action. And the last thing is you have to sign into the Microsoft Outlook. And that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.